Today I am feeling super excited and it's because the whole world has changed. Yesterday, 2nd of January, everything changed. So many companies brought out new vegan ranges. I have here the vegan steak bake from Greg's. I have here the meatless marinara from Subway. Pizza Hut brought out their vegan range with pepperoni, which is fake pepperoni. And I'm gonna give you my honest, real review of the Greg's vegan steak bake and the meatless marinara. Now, if you know me and you know my history, this is big because I used to live on this stuff. Um, the Greg's steak bake was a staple part of my diet growing up. Subway was a staple part of my diet growing up. I would go to the gym, I would then come and get a big foot long Subway. And so the fact that as a vegan now I can eat this stuff again is amazing. And I'm just gonna share with you exactly how it is. So. Uh, I'm not going to pretend either. If it's not nice, I'll tell you the truth. Um, if it is nice, I'm really hoping it is nice. Now I don't eat junk food all the time anymore, but I'm really excited about this. And I actually had a great experience. So I went and got the Greg's one first and then I got the meatless marinara second. So when I went and got the Greg's one, the guy was really excited because I was his first customer who bought one and he, um, he said, oh, you know, I'm a massive meat eater. I don't think I could ever give up meat. And I just said to him, yeah, I'm the same. The steak used to be my favorite food. So, but then I had this awakening experience and I stopped being able to eat it because the energy of the meat was just it wasn't nice when I was having it. And he started telling me, he's like, yeah, I know I've seen how uh, chicken nuggets are made and it's crazy. And he said, I know hot dogs are made of all like different parts of horrible parts of pigs. And, and uh, I, he was like selling me on why he shouldn't eat it. And there's a big debate going on at the moment about whether we should support companies like Greg's, like McDonald's who have a new vegan range out, like KFC just brought out their Impossible Burger because they do contribute a lot to animal cruelty and kill millions of animals every day. But I think if we get behind the vegan options, they'll make more vegan options. So he then started ask, just talking to me about meat. And I said, have you seen this movie called The Game Changers? It's amazing. It's all about these elite athletes who are now switching to plant-based diets and it helps them get stronger. They, have, they win Olympics, they break their world records, they recover faster. And he's like, whoa, like, do you think it's worth me watching it? So let's do the vegan steak bake first. And I have an amazing story about the meat, meatless marinara as well. This was a beautiful experience for me going in and um, just purchasing these stuff. So, here we go. It looks exactly the same as I remember. It smells exactly the same as I remember. See how it tastes. Okay. The pastry tastes just the same as I remember it. The filling tastes a bit different. I remember steak bakes used to have like big chunks of steak in them. I don't know if they still do that anymore. But this is more like kind of mince, minced bits of this uh, vegan steak. So it's not quite the same texture wise, but let me take one more bite. If I didn't know that a steak bake usually has chunky bits of steak in it, I wouldn't be able to tell that I wasn't meat. The gravy just tastes like meat. Yeah. Pretty cool, exciting. Uh, if you like Greg's, check it out.
let me know what you think about it. Um, I watched this video today. People, <laughs> they went out and they were asking the public to do a taste test. So they had the, the vegan steak bake and they had what they were saying was a normal steak bake, but actually they were both the vegan one and they were asking people to tell the difference. And people were like pretending they could tell the difference, but really they were both the vegan one. And so they were like, mm, yeah, this one tastes much more meaty, which was obviously the exact same thing. <laughs> and people were loving it. Okay, meatless marinara. I used to love the meatball marinara from Subway. I don't really eat bread so much anymore. And processed meats are something I avoid. Um, things like bacon, sausage, pepperoni. I used to eat bacon and sausage sandwiches every day, but they're actually um, a class one, class one carcinogen processed meats. If you go check out um, online, they are in the same ranking of causing cancers as cigarettes, processed meats. So they've actually banned processed meats from all schools in America now, which is really cool. So you can't get pepperoni, you can't get sausage, you can't get bacon in um, schools in America anymore. It's all banned because it is recognized as a carcinogen. So this is what we're working with here. We have, I put some tomatoes, some olives. You also put this vegan aioli on it. You can see the meatballs there. They just look the same. Uh, I had a great experience with this actually, because I saw he served the customer before me with meat. And I was thinking in my head, is he gonna change his gloves? And he asked me, he said, uh, are you vegan? And I said, yeah. And he said, would you like me to change my gloves? And I said, thank you so much for asking that. Because that really makes a big difference. I don't personally, and every, everybody's different, I don't want someone touching a dead animal and then touching my food. Just like I wouldn't want them touching a dead cat or a dead dog or a dead baby and then touching my food. So here we go. Let's try the meatless marinara. It's kind of falling apart. <laughs> it's a really big bite. Okay, so the vegan aioli he put on it is kind of like garlicky. I remember how I used to like this was to put, get him to put extra marinara sauce on, so maybe I should have asked him to do that. I'm not really, the garlicky vibe isn't really mixing with it well. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really eat sandwiches that much anymore. So this isn't to my particular like amazing liking. It doesn't taste bad. Just, I don't really enjoy the texture of bread anymore because it's quite just bland and um, not nutritious uh, in many ways. I think, let me just try one more bite. If you like sandwiches, I think you would like this. It doesn't taste any different, but my sandwiches aren't really my favorite thing. I'm just gonna try the, the ball without the bread. I think that might be the winner. So that's a meatless meatball. If you've ever had the Linda McCartney sausages, it tastes very similar to those. I 
I would eat the meatballs without the bread. Much nicer. So there we have it. Vegan steak bake from Greg's. That's what it looks like in the inside. You see it's kind of like mincy. Vegan meatless marinara from Subway. It's a big day for the planet. You now have options at all your favorite takeaways. Now, there's a whole other thing about should we be eating processed foods? Should we be eating takeaways? I personally stick to an 80-20 rule. So I eat really healthy, whole foods, organic, 80% of the time, as much as I can. And then I have 20% of the time where I'm more relaxed. I think these convenience foods, when I used to travel, when I was on the road all the time, were very, very helpful for me. And if I was traveling now and I had an option to pop in to a Greg's or a McDonald's or a KFC and get a vegan thing, I think that'd be really, really helpful, especially for a lot of you who are probably thinking about making a transition. Maybe you're worried about how you can uh, experience the convenience or you want to still go to with your friends to these restaurants. I think it's beautiful that you can. So thank you so much. I have enjoyed this. I have loads of other videos on my YouTube channel. Check out Luke Scott Official. Type in Luke Scott Official or Luke Scott Vegan. It will all come up for you. Luke Scott Speaker, if you want to learn about public speaking. Um, I just want to end with this. This is really powerful. Whatever you believe in, stand up for it this year. This is the year where we all need to stand up for our beliefs because we can create massive change the way the world is now. You can start a YouTube channel, you can become successful. You can make videos like this, millions of people can see it. You don't know who's watching, you don't know who you can inspire, but you have to speak your truth. So first, find out who you are, find your truth. This is what I teach in my book. And secondly, express it on camera, on stage, in person, with your family, like whatever you need to do, because together we can make a huge difference. And it all starts with you. Oh, 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 oh,